I'd like to welcome you to the eighth grade performance of Freaky Friday. You are here for our last performance. The students in the eighth grade, as you know, have been waiting for this tradition, this operetta, for years. This year, they worked on operetta during really hard months of prepping for high school tests and stress. And they still found ways to have fun, build the sets, sing the songs, learn their lines and the choreography. I am very proud of them. I would ask that you please turn off your phones so that we make sure we have as little interference with our sound as possible. We are providing you with video in the weeks to come. Without further ado, I'd like to bring you our sibling cast. You're never gonna believe me. No one in their right mind could possibly ever believe me. But what I'm about to tell you is true, 100% true. Everything started the day before my mom got married. The day Ellie, that I had, I'm Ellie, talking mind-bending bananas. What? Hi there. This is my mother. Hi there, she looks adorable. See, she made an effort, she looks nice. You could do that. I'm in the middle of a story. I know, I'm being supportive. Could you do that somewhere else? Well, I was thinking, what if you started by introducing the family? Mom! All right, I'm going. Good. So, it was the second Friday in April, and 
Every morning is pretty chaotic in our house. But this was even more crazy than, Mom, what are you doing? I want to be able to see your pretty face. She hides her face. Mom! All right. These are my two best friends. Tell them about the hunt. I was getting to that. It's our year. We're sophomores. You need to ignore flying under the radar. Then boom, we're going to win the hunt. What if they make us dance in public? Tonight is the hunt. It's an epic, super fun scavenger hunt that has been happening at our high school forever. Every year, there's a new list of impossible things to do and crazy things to find. And every year, there's a new list master. This year, the list master is Adam. Adam. So, Carl, Monica, and I formed a team. Carl is all perfect, while Monica brings a healthy dose of phobia. Ludophobia, chorophobia, and alidoxophobia are all real things. I'm an awesome dancer. We're the perfect trio. Ellie, have you asked your mom? I'm going to, today. I really want to win the hunt. There's just one problem, my mother. Just one day, that's all I need. Just a day without her nagging. Just one day, I beg, I plead, but the drag just keeps on dragging. While I wish for just a Monday or a Friday to be free, for this slouch and sulk and mumble, let me messy, let me me. All I ask is for 12 hours to live my life my way. For just one simple, awesome, crazy, epic day. Mom, I need to ask you Honey, something. I need you to hold that thought. Color, texture, scale, the perfect salad tableau. Okay, next on the list. The floor is just low and funkuous. Tori, I need you to hold that thought. You're right, I can handle that with myself. I'm running around with the caterators. Thank you, Tori. Mom, can I ask Ellie, did you finish your pre-calc homework? Yes, but Bring mom, your gym clothes, you have PE today. Mom, I need to ask Are you. those the same clothes you wore yesterday? Maybe. They have not been improved by time. I wish you changed. Well, I wish you changed. Just one day is all I want with my family united. Fears at bay, no fights, no taunts, just the four of us delighted. I mean, look, I love my kids, I love my work, I love my life. I love my fiance, and in a day I'll be his wife. I'll throw the perfect wedding and I'll throw the bride's bouquet. And we'll have one happy, loving family day. Coffee for the bride. Mike, I would marry you just for this coffee. Hope my cabinets count for something. Oh, guess who got the bid on the Harrison's Kitchen remodel? Congratulations, lucky them. Lucky me, someone's been busy. Someone's catering her own wedding. Tomorrow is the wedding, and tonight is the rehearsal, and there is no room for error, I mean not one flaw. We've got guests in just 10 hours, dress the tables, trim the flowers. I want beauty and perfection, I want total awe. And remember that reporter, cause it's crucial that we quarter. The business is depending on this one success. Now breathe, thank you, Tori, and in fact, that is the story. So get moving, move this produce, and remove this mess. You heard her, move! Fletcher, how's my best man? You practicing your wedding toast? My wedding toast is gonna be magic, literally. And I toast the bride and the groom. <laughs> the power of love is as strong as the power of magic. I'm so proud. Where's the maid of honor? Fletcher, for your next magic trick, could you make your sister up here for breakfast? Mom, I'm 10, she's 16. What are the odds she listens to me? Ellie Blake, breakfast now! One more day, she's on my back. She's been riding me forever. On my fault and all I lack and all I owe ever. Cause I'm lazy and I'm average and I'm sloppy for a start. And I know she love a daughter who is pretty neat and smart. And I know the woman's perfect, but it'll never be that way. Not for a single solitary day. Fletcher, Dad gave that to me. Give it back. Stop yelling. One more 
her day, she'll fight and fuss, and when her joy is all I'm after, it's been a long, tough time for us, now it's time to hear some laughter, cause I only want her happy and more punctual and clean, but she mumbles and she grumbles, and at times she's outright right mean, she's bright and so insightful, but those traits aren't on display, well, not lately, often, ever, not to. Ellie, dear, it's not the time. No, that apron is a crime. And that sea bass isn't fresh. It's three days dead. Mom, I really need to know. If I can't move, where'd you go? I'll never draw her focus from the bed. It's a million little things. Oh, all you know the things, things. But I can't it has an empty words this way. What a day. What a day. What a day. No, I'm old. 
Watch your tone, Missy. Wait, Mom, there were two. Dad gave us both one. One for you and one for me. All we have to do is get yours and we can switch back. What? I sold it? You sold it? But it was from Dad. Are you just trying to erase him from our lives? No, it's hard to explain. I was trying to let go of something. It's like he was never here. I sold it at an antique shop, which opens at one. Vintage antiques. Isn't that like saying antique antiques? Look, honey, you just have to get through this. They're here. Catherine? I'm Danielle Alexander from Down the Alley Magazine. And the photographer. Name's Lewis. Catherine Blake, I finally get to meet the bride who is woman enough to cater and design her own wedding. Delighted. My own wedding. You know what you should do, Tori? You should show them the backyard. Just go, just go. It's really pretty. Yeah, do that. The backyard's awesome. Ellie, I took out a second mortgage on our house. I was trying to grow my catering business. A cover story from a major wedding magazine will either make or break me. If this story happens, it means more publicity, more business, more clients. Yay. And if the story doesn't happen, well, <laughs> we could lose our house. I, I didn't tell you because I didn't want to worry you. Okay, so far being an adult is super unfun. Look, honey, I swear, we'll get through this and we'll find the other hourglass. But for right now, you're just going to have to stay here and pretend to be me. But, Mom, I, I can't miss school. Why? If I have one more unexcused absence, I'll fail 10th grade. Fail? When were you going to tell me this? At the mandatory parent-teacher conference. Did I forget to mention that? How? You be so irresponsible. I guess you'll find out at the conference. Okay. You'll stay here and do the interview for me. I'll go to your school. No. There is no way you can handle a day at my school. You don't know how to talk. You don't know how to act. You're going to be weird and people will think I'm weird and it's going to last forever. Shh. We got this. Okay? There will be an interview. You will be polite, and you will talk about the challenges of balancing motherhood and work. Oh, yeah, the challenges. Your days are so rough. I got this. I got this. I can see what to do for me to be you. I've got this. I'll bake stuff. I can think like I make stuff like you. I'll have a laugh, have my coffee, have caff, and then yell at the staff on your behalf. I've got this. Yeah, I got this. Stick a smile on my face and strut round the place. I've got this. I'm perfection. I don't need your direction at all. Call me a slob or a slackerish blob. I can act like a snob and fool that mob. I've got this like it's my job. Good, you'll see what it means to have a job. I'll go to your school. I got this. Yeah, I got this. Do my hair with some care, I'll primp and prepare. I got this. Delighted, it's not right, you're excited for school. Scoff if you may, it's a part I can play and it's only a day and so I say I got this. Yeah, I got this. I'll act right in the mirror, act right till I'm sure they bought this. I'll show you, no, nobody will know it's not you. Leave it to me, cause how hard can it be when I've got my degree in such a spree? I got this, soon you'll see. Please don't embarrass me. Look, I know it's hard to believe, honey, but I attended high school, and I did just fine. I think I'm looking forward to a day to tell the truth. A day amid the energy and innocence of youth. A thousand fellow students all excited just like me. A community of learners, really. How hard could it be? How hard could it be? Good morning, good morning. You look like a newscaster. Well, that's an improvement. Hey, here comes the list master. Adam. Hi, Al. What sandwich did you bring for lunch today? Oh, I mean, my mom made a turkey sandwich with homemade chutney. So you prepped for the hunt? Again with the hunt! Does nobody care about tests and grades around here? Ha ha. Tests and grades are bogus, am I right? But seriously, explain the obsession of the hunt. The hunt is epic. You all know that my brother was pretty much the school's legendary list master until he graduated. So now that I'm the list master, I feel some pressure to live up to his hype. I really want to make the hunt super community bonding. Bring people together. That's 
surprisingly mature. Mm-hmm. Your lunches make life worth living. Tell your mom she's a sandwich genius. Thanks, I will. Catch you later. Okay, Ellie, breaking news. We just heard that Savannah's trying to get people to drop out of the hunt. Oh, during last year's hunt, Savannah freaked out a girl so bad that she had prevented And then she posted it on social media, and it went viral. And I heard that the college that the girl was going to go to actually resigned her acceptance. But honey, that's absurd. Honey? There she is! Ellie Blake? Good morning. Someone said that you said that you thought you could win the hunt. Someone said what? That you thought you could win the hunt. But you won't, because I'm going to win. I got this. I got this. I'm the queen of the hunt. You're green, you're a grunt. I got this. You'll lose, girl, if you choose to refuse, girl, to see. You shouldn't begin with the war you can't win, because I'm smarter than sin. I've got perfect skin. Savannah, look out. It's right to me. She's our box humana. She's the cock of the walk, I'm talking the top banana. She's the top banana. So trust me, uh -oh. watch honey will just me on top. top. I never fail, no, I always prevail as Carver and Yale. So we've been well, I got this, kiss my tail. I got this. I got this. Ellie, Ellie Blake, where are you supposed to be right now? I don't know. Need a little more fill on the left corner. Careful, that cake stand is hand painted China. This must be where the magic happened. <gasps> Look at that cake. I made that. I mean, I made that. Bam, <laughs> nailed it. Um, so where'd you learn to cook? Um, she went to the CIA. I was spy. Culinary Institute of America. A food spy. Um, so what inspired you to do everything for your own wedding? Obviously, I'm a control freak. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so your fiance's name is Mike? Yeah. Um, your assistant told me that you guys met while you were just finishing your cabinet. That's adorable. Is it? <laughs> there he is. Katie. Hey there, fella. Ow. Who doesn't want a bride with a solid right hook, am I right? You should have seen when I suggested seven layer bars to replace the wedding cake. Um, do you guys have any um, exciting um, surprises for the reception? They've been taking dance lessons for weeks. We're good. Roger's in a stare. Who? Oh, show us. You must. We mustn't. Come on. Ow, my back. Ow. Walk, walk it off on. It must be all the stress. I'm sure she gets the idea from the music. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do the big finish. Big finish? Come on. Wait for it. We got this. shown on sarcasm in the classroom, and it was proven the least effective way to communicate. Really? How interesting. Oh, what's your mother say about the hunt? Right, the hunt. She said no. You said you were going to push back. She's under real pressure. Tonight is the rehearsal dinner, and the whole weekend is going to be photographed by Down the Aisle magazine. And you care about that? Why? We just can't, OK? Besides, the hunt scares me to death. Scares you? Nothing scares you. It's not even coming in second place. <sighs> My mother says that second place is just another way to say loser. Loser. Oh, honey, I want to, I want to, 
a meditation retreat with your mother? I don't think she would say that. Haha, -ha, little joke. What is happening? Social sabotage. Namaste. Wow. Nice of you to join us. Donata. Hey, sup. Did you just say, hey, sup? I said, hey, sup. Oh, sup. Class, no pop quiz today. Woo! The frogs are here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're doing dissection. Why do we have to do dissection today? Because as God is my witness, my minivan is not going to smell like hot frogs today. Ew. Ew. I like your hair. You do? Yeah, I can see your face. Thanks. Poor Ellie. I remember last, m last month just looking at the starfish made you sick. Like, actually sick. Not the cool sick. Do you need a bucket? You know, actually, Savannah, I think I'm pretty comfortable with the knife today. There we go, Miss Blake. Anatomies and a master of dissection, an expert chef who wields an expert knife. But soon I sense a gremlin in the system of perfection. There clearly are still mysteries to life. It's kingdom phylum class, and then it's order family genius. It all comes back to me like child's play. Oh. Then he leans over my shoulder there, and all is long and leanest, and cuts my heart and knowledge clean away. I try to keep a focused mind and steady hand. Keep focused, good, keep steady. But the rhythm of my heart is like a country western band. Oh, 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 oh. oh, biology, what have you done to me? Why can't my grown up brain control my teenage heart? Oh, biology, why won't you let me be? Why can't you be humane and still our beating? Nice. She's so confident and cocky, it's a total transformation. I'm sweating, but I'll try to play it cool. Then I open up my mouth and try to make some conversation, and somehow end up sounding like a fool. Yo, dude, that's sick, I'm way impressed, like sweet technique. OMG! I'm like totally on things, now come on, can I even speak? Hey, what's up, Miss Alice today? She seems well kind of great. She's always great, but yeah, it's nuts. That girl is on my nerves today. I better set her straight. You better let her know what's what. I never knew that Ellie Blake was such a science whiz. She's smart, of course, that much I knew. But something's up with her today. I don't know what it is, but then just maybe I feel it too. I feel it too. The girl is through. Oh, oh biology, what have you done to me? My heart is in a pain and my brain is out to see. Oh, biology, what have you done to me? Tell me if you can, please hear my painful plea. No, Savannah, I know you're at the top of the social hierarchy here, but I'm here to tell you that that mean girl stick of yours, it's infantile. It is? Yeah, and I'm also here to tell you 
that there's life beyond high school. Wow, that's really deep. Hashtag deep. I know. Bye. Bye. I think you sat on some gum. Oh my gosh, what is that? Why would I get a piercing without my mother's permission? You're so grounded when you get back in this body for a month. While Tori was recovering from the cake incident, <laughs> which you saw was totally an accident, I was seriously stressing about what my mom might be finding out about my life, or worse, doing to my life at school. Like, what if she was nailing high school while I was ruining everything here? How was I going to face her at the parent-teacher conference? We are officially 55 minutes behind the master plan. We need to prep the salads, marinate the fish, wrap the pigs with bacon. This all makes my head hurt. Do you need your, you know? Yeah, what's my, you know? These are cigarettes. I smoke. Throw those away, enabler. That's why my mouth tastes like carpet. <laughs> With a surprise dart on my mom, I was actually eager to face her at the parent-teacher conference. What are you wearing? I did the best I could. Your vision is terrible. Look, we need to get the hourglass as soon as humanly possible. Do you think I don't understand the gravity of the situation? Yo. Hey, I I'm Ellie. This is mom. Ellie, Blake, Catherine. Catherine Blake. Oh, Catherine Blake. You make all the great sandwiches. Um, Ellie speaks quite highly of you. Your lunches are amazing. Thank you. T catch you later. <gasps> Do you like him? Would you shut it? She teaches Ellie, Ellie's English literature. Scarlet Letter, great read, page turner. This is Homera Orion. So her rhyme, Tovine. So I've been looking over Ellie's test. She never well. tested well. Because I don't study. Or maybe the tests are too hard. Agree, Agree to, to disagree. disagree. I think she's a pretty great kid. I could do better. Let me cut to the chase. Ellie skips class when she's bored. 11 days. If I may say a word about Ellie's test in five Those tests are dumb. Mrs. Blake! I am. I she am. is. We, we are. are. She is. But Ellie became more challenged about five years ago. Here, my husband. My dad passed away. Just say died. He died. Oh, honey, mother, I wanted to give you your own space after you died. I didn't want to be one of those helicopter parents. Helicopter children. I don't want to talk about it. I thought letting you process your own way after he died was the right thing to do. Wrong. I really don't want to talk about you it. You don't have to. Let's wrap this up. I appreciate all the feedback, and from now on, I'm going to be really good. Sorry to hear that your class is boring. Eight years to retirement. Thanks for listening to me in there. You're welcome. Oh, how did the magazine interview go? The interview? <laughs> fine. Okay, I can live with fine. But seriously, what were you thinking? Skipping class? Oh, wow. I thought we were having a moment there. The moment is over. We all have responsibility in this world. And when you are back in this body, you are grounded for a month. Yeah, well, when you're back in this body, your pants are going to feel tight because I ate a bunch of gluten. Keys! Wait! Gym! Now! I can't do gym. Oh, yes, you can. Ellie, we all have responsibilities in this world, and physical education is an essential part of your school curriculum. You go to class, I'll get the hourglass. See you at home!
Now, when we're inside, don't touch anything. Out of business? No, my life is over. What's the matter? I stupidly sold an hourglass. Daddy? Yes, and I need to get it back, but now the store is closed. There's one in the boggle set over there. No, I need that one. If you are interested in purchasing any of our remaining... My remaining merchandise, I have distributed it to 33 other antique stores throughout the area. 33? That seems like a lot. No, duh. But you could just go hunt for it. Fletcher, that's so stupid. There's no way I could hunt for it by myself. The hunt! If I get the hourglass on the list for the hunt, everyone will be looking for it. I got this. I got this. I see what to do, won't make it a clue. I've got this. The list master can relieve this disaster for sure. He'll bend a few rules, then half of the school will hunt for the glass and save my But I've got this. Let's hit the gas. Come on, I gotta call my, your sister. Today, you will attempt the Myers Extreme Fitness Challenge. You don't pass my fitness challenge, you don't graduate. Get ready, all you losers, you TV dinner winners and snack pack snoozers. Best be on alert. No exceptions or excuses. You stomach acre fakers, no, I don't buy your ruses. Time to feel the hurt. Excuse me, I have like doxophobia. That's a real thing. It's a fear of other people's opinions. Get the hourglass on the list of the hunt. Fine. Blake, no devices. Everybody drop and give me 20 push-ups because Ellie Blake brought her device into gym class. You too, Blake. Let's go, let's go. Watch your back, better watch your back. Always someone moving faster, always someone on attack. So babies, watch your tail. P.E. is past and fell and I know heck. So hit the floor, hit the ropes and watch your back. You know, Savannah, I'm thinking. You want to win the hunt, I have some skin in the game. Maybe we could work together, you know, as a team. Be on a team with you. Super nutritious food for thought. Mmm, super food, like See, blueberries. I think we could be a pretty great team. Actually, I don't think we'd be pretty great teammates, Blake. I like winners. Bye. Now tell us what you're doing. Say you have a plan. You're set to do the hunt now. You couldn't, now you can. And now you ask Savannah to be partners out for real. What's the truth? What's the plan? What's, What's your deal? Guys, I can explain. Don't bother. Don't bother. You can talk, Blake. Then you're not breathing hard enough. Watch your back. Better watch your back. With the look over your shoulder. Oversized hourglass, pink sand, yay big, one of a kind, right here in the city. And long story short, uh, list master, could you put it on the list of the hunt? You don't already know the clue. That's cheating. That's ridiculous! I ain't no DJ Ellie. I don't take requests. The hunt, I hold it sacred. A bond, I won't transgress. For Pete's sake, it's a lark at most, a stupid childish game. So you say, it's my thing, all the same. Wait, Adam, wait! Watch your back, better watch your back. You're sailing and you're sailing, and you're sailing for
for a snack. Don't take off the lids, master, cause I'll never cut you slack. And the rule's a rule, so keep me cool and watch your back. In my, and I remember that this visit education was delightful. But this is only pain, the teacher is insane. The kids are so unfriendly, so unhelpful, so unfeeling and so spiteful. And oh, my muscles hurt. Oh, my muscles hurt. But the lesson that you learn is worth the burn. Cause life is hard, yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. So you better watch your back. Traitor, watch your back. Loser, watch your back. You're not who I thought you were. Watch your Fail back. When's Ellie coming home? Why do you care? I like when Ellie's home. She's awesome. You think she's awesome? Yeah. Except I guess she hates me now. Well, you shouldn't bother her with your magic tricks. But I'm just practicing my crowd work. Your crowd work? Yeah, I'm perfecting my acts for Hollywood. Fletcher, no way are you going to Hollywood. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, you said being a magician was a great career. Well, I lied. Nuh-uh. Parents don't lie. Yeah, they do. Parents lie, it's sad but true. Mine lied to me, yours lies to you. I lied to you. About what? Where do I start? We say there's no monster there under your bed. Who knows? It's not like we search. And no one likes broccoli. We're all back flossing and everyone sleeps in shul and buck the dogs on the farm fuck it's dead and soda won't kill you despite what i said and magic kid no magic is real but magic won't help you conceal that parents lie because they can so learn the truth Lie with words, they lie with hugs. Parents lie, they lie like rubs. And parents will tell you you're great and special and stuff when clearly you're not. They say that one day you'll feel normal, but that's not enough, it's not by a lot. They'll hold you and tell you they love and they care, but they lie when they tell you they'll always be there. I know it's upsetting and life isn't fair, but parents die. They tell you they won't, but they lie. Oh, parents lie. It's hard to hear. It's hard to say. I'm just telling you something I wish someone had told me.
We'll sit down for dinner soon. I'm sure the bride will be down any minute. We've got to rehearse, right? There you are. There you are. Did you get the hourglass on the list for the hunt? Yes. Where's Fletcher? He's around. Catherine, thank goodness you're here. Okay, I just have these napkins in a lotus fold. I hope that- Tori, no one is even looking at the napkins. Who cares about the napkins? I care. We care about the napkins. That's who we are. What is wrong with you today? I'm going to check the tablescapes, and then I quit. You did that on purpose. You guys, great timing. Ellie's ready to go on the hunt. I changed my mind. Off you go. Well, we have to talk. Today was not okay. What we happened? Weird all day today. I don't know why you kissed up to Savannah. And alienated Adam? She what? And like we acted like you don't matter, and like we're disposable. We came to tell you this in person. You don't deserve a text. We're doing the hunt without you. You guys, wait! We wish, we wish it, could it could be, be different. different. My best friends hate me. What did you do? Nothing, honey. Kids fight. They just blow over. Did you even get the hourglass on the list for the hunt? Yeah. Katie, you need to tell me if we have assigned seats. Back off! Babe, are you okay? You know what, Mike? I am really not. I'm rethinking this whole wedding thing. All of it. You are, huh? You know what? I just need to be somewhere else right now. You! Oh my god! Mike! Mike! Wait, no, she didn't mean that. You did that on purpose. You messed up my life on purpose. Where's Fletcher? You said he was here. He was. Fletcher! Fletcher! Dear Mom, you may have lied to me, but that will not stop me from pursuing my dreams. I will become a famous magician whether you believe in me or not. Love, Fletcher. Okay, the next few minutes of panic are not a pretty scene. So let's just skip ahead. Everyone's freaking out because Fletcher is missing. The neighbors are offering advice, the wedding guests are out searching, and mom called the police. Everyone keeps asking me questions and I don't know the right answer. Where's his favorite place to go? I don't know. Mike, we need to call the police. They're on their, they're, they're on their way, Elle. Would you go to a friend's house? I don't know. Tori, we need to put up flyers. We're handling it, sweetheart. I'm gonna drive all around the neighborhood. We're gonna find him. I was ready to be grown up, just waiting for the day. And now I am, I'm freaking. Does mommy feel this way? If only they would listen, I could get this search on track. But when they hear me talking, they just think I'm talking back. I'm not myself today, I'm in a funny way. I'm not the thing they think they see. This alpha mommy, she's not me. They want a woman I can't be. And words that I can't say. I'm not myself, I'm not myself today. If I had a kid and the kid ran away, I would hunt him down and kill him. Oh no. What a thing to say. If I had a kid and the kid ran away, I would find him, I would hold him, and then I'd kill him. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not myself today. I'm not myself today. I'm not myself today. I'm not myself, I'm not myself, I'm not myself today. I'm in an awful way. I know I should be standing. so young and small. It breaks my heart to hear them call. Well, well there's, there's nothing, nothing I can say. I'm not the woman I thought I was. I'm not the woman I wished I'd be. I'm, I'm not, not myself. myself. I'm not myself today.
Hey hunters, new clue. Happy hunting. Hey little dude. Hey. You go to Pinewood Falls? Yeah. You do you know Ellie Blake? Ellie Blake. Ellie Blake. She hates me now. No way. Why? She calls me a weirdo. She called you a weirdo? Yeah. That's nothing. My brother used to call me a weirdo when he was nice to me. As a compliment. Are you running away? Yeah. Where are you heading? Hollywood. All by yourself? No, me and Presto. You don't think your family misses you right now? Well, let me tell you something. My brother was pretty mean to me. Did he, did he chase you out of your room? Only every day. But now that he's off at college, I really miss him. I guarantee that your family misses you right now and is really worried about you. Do you think I could take you home? We told everyone to go home. We called them when we had news. Here's a school picture. His hair is longer now. Here's a soccer picture. He's not that good at soccer. You should put that on the APB. Honey, I need to talk to your mom. Okay, what was he wearing last time you saw him? I don't know, a shirt, pants. White t-shirt with fish on it, beige pants, red sneakers, medium blue hooded sweatshirt that is almost too small on him. Okay. How would you describe your son's personality? <laughs> Fletcher can be very annoying. annoying. Do not write that down! Okay, ha okay, has your son experienced any recent emotional or physical trauma? Fletch was his regular happy self this morning. Except I did hurt him. <gasps> not physically, psychically. You psychically hurt him? Fletcher! How did you find your way back home? He brought me home. Hi. <laughs> Yo. I'm hungry. I could eat. Come on into the kitchen. I'll make everybody something to eat. Don't, Don't touch the pate! Hey, good luck on the wedding. Can't say it worked out for me. <laughs> hey, at school, did Ellie act at all weird today? You can tell me. Yeah. I knew it. We got into this fight about this hourglass, like out of the blue. About the hourglass? Adam, this morning I broke an hourglass that Ellie's dad gave to me. She was just trying to help. No way. I thought she was trying to cheat. My mind is like... And she likes you, but then again, everyone likes you. But you should know that she likes me. I like Ellie, too. You do? Yeah, it's pretty weird to talk about this with you. <laughs> totally. Maybe I'll talk about it with her. That'd be cool. And if you could help us out by putting the hourglass on the list for the hunt, that'd be worth a lot of sandwiches to me. Mom, what's the matter? I'm such a terrible mother. I was so focused on planning the perfect wedding. Fletcher ran away. Is Fletcher okay? We heard he's missing. Yeah. He's home now. Oh, good. You guys, today I put Ellie under a lot of pressure. So if she acted like a tool, and I have a feeling she did, it was my fault. You guys are best friends. Could she please be back on the team? Yeah. yeah. Or we could just quit. No, just no. Wait, come over here. Ellie, your life and peer group are both super confusing. And they put me under real pressure. So you know what? Tonight, you go do the hunt. You know what? I'd love to. I've been dying to do the hunt, but it'd be totally insane to have a mom do it. So maybe you could dig deep and do this one thing for me. But I can't. I didn't get Adam to put the hourglass on the list for the hunt. I might have talked him into it. You did? Okay. I can do this for us now. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Woo! We have to find some of the easier things first. Have fun. I believe in you. Wow, Danielle, Lewis, you're still here for the happy ending. Ta-da, my kid's safe at home. What a night. Woo! Your wedding is not fit for the cover of our magazine. Wait, it has to be. It's super important. This wedding is an epic fail. Where's the cake? What would go on the cover? My family. I started my business by myself because I needed to support my kids. I wanted to show them that even after something really bad happened, we could all be okay. And taking care of everyone else all the time, it's super hard. I work, I do all the home stuff, no one's making my lunch in the morning, you know, it's just me. 
You should put that story on the cover because it's way more true than some fancy wedding. I know I'm not the master chef here, but what if we made seven layer bars to replace the wedding? <laughs> they might not count as cooking, but they're delicious. We can make seven layer bars as a family. Yeah, mom, can I make them too? Of course. Do you want to grab an apron? I love seven layer bars. Well, what are we waiting for? Sure, why not? Tori, wait. I wasn't at my best today. I should not have demeaned your napkins. Could you maybe not quit? I wish I could quit you. Come on, we're making seven layer bars. Hey hunters, it's List Master. Now I've got you on the run. Gotta give it all you've got. And don't stop running till it's done. Found the last one, I've got more. Each tougher than before. And you'll know I'm keeping score. So I'll fall in. You'll know just where you're going, kids. Never where you've been. Go where you never thought you'd go. Go way too far. Where the thing you have to find can be found. Go there, go there. And be where you are, where you are. Curfew. Curfew. I don't know, Savannah. I think we're in it to win it. Ooh, I'm scared. So scared. Bye. Hey, hunters, you bliss master. Now if you're falling behind, take a breath and look inside. You'll never know what you might find. When this highway hits a curve, Find the courage, find the nerve to get what you deserve and then fight on. You only know a place for real once you've been and gone. Go where you never thought you'd go. Go, go all in. Where the thing you have to find Not the being, but becoming. Once you are, you'll never be. Not the winning, but the wishing. Wishes end when you have won. Not the ending, but beginning. And we've only just begun. Yeah, we've only just begun. New clue! Extra credit, an oversized hourglass filled with pink sand. Oh my gosh, the hourglass, it's my mom's. We have to find it. We won't let you down. But now it's time for the group challenge at Lucky Nine Lane. Hey hunters, as you probably guessed, you're not here to bowl, you're here to dance. Woo! It's a dance off, get out there, jump it, juke it, and bust a move. No, I told you it would have to be something embarrassing. I don't dance. I would I don't need anyone making fun of me. I'm a weird blob with arms and legs. Whoa, whoa, you guys, stop. We are all, we are all weird blobs <laughs> with arms and legs. And it's easy to stop and say, who cares what people think? But the truth is, the people who make you feel small are small and pathetic, okay? You do you, because right now is the time to take risks. Come okay. on. Carl, you're perfect. I know. And Monica, <laughs> you are going to dance. <sighs> We are all going to dance, and it might look ridiculous, but we'll be doing it together. Yes! Okay. Not the 
finding, it's the searching, it's the hunt for who you'll be. Not the seeing, but the looking for the things you just can't see. hitched and we rock this wedding party just one day till Mike's my dad and I'm not the only boy in the family you're excited about the wedding huh yeah aren't you it's complicated Fletcher I don't Ellie doesn't hate you she doesn't no she wanted me to tell you that oh cool and I'm sorry about what I said in the car I'm sorry about this whole day mom we got to make seven layer bars we got, I got to ride the bus by myself, and I met Ellie's cool friend, Adam. This has been the best day ever. I'm tired. Maybe it wasn't a great idea to let him eat brown sugar out of the box. Mike, I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. Well, I was warned. You told me if you catered your wedding, you'd be crazy. I know how crazy, but... And I want to apologize for Ellie, too. For Ellie? Yeah, I know she's a pain, and she's not very nice to you. I don't want to speak out of school, Katie, but you're too hard on her. Ellie can be angry with me. It's okay. It is? Yeah. She lost her dad, and I can never replace her, and I wouldn't try. I, I need Ellie to accept me on her terms. I love her, and if she wants to be angry with me, I can take it. She's not angry with you. Sometimes she's just angry, and I think she misses her dad. I think she's afraid she's going to forget him. No one needs to forget him or you. Are we okay? Yeah, we're good. Bye. Time for bed, Houdini. Oh my god, I'm the mom. I have to clean up. Wait, wait! We're tied with Savannah for the lead. I need the hourglass! But Ellie, we've checked every antique shop in this city. What time is it? <gasps> Guys, it isn't at any antique shop, it's at an antique watch shop. Look, look, I see it over there. Mrs. Time, Mrs. Time, open up. You got customers. Mrs. Time is my mother. I'm Mr. Time. Oh, <laughs> well, anyways. Mr. Time, I need that hourglass that you're holding that was from the window. This is a joke, right? Please. No. Look, I know we look like a bunch of irresponsible kids, 
But trust me, I know what it feels like to run a small business. And I know how it feels to get hit with a tax bill that wipes out your profit for the quarter. Please, from one small business owner to the next, this favor really matters. No. Please! Fine, it's only a loan. Excuse me, Miss Time, or Mr. Time, my mother is an alderman, and if I don't get that address right now, she will call the IRS on you and adopt your books for the next five years. She means audit. Sorry, kids. Business. You cannot just steal that. Aw, your face would be so funny if it weren't so sad. Sad. I can't control everything. Are you having a psychotic break? I thought if I controlled everything, it would protect my family. I thought it would keep us safe. But the truth is, I can't control everything. And I can't control anything. That's the whole point of the hunt, to be out of control. So guess what? I'm sorry. For what? This. Let's go, kid, go! Mike, the rabbi, Fletcher, and everyone who's here to see, to, who, to see you get married are all set to go. We're almost ready. We just need to finish changing. Ooh, you're not kidding. Three minutes. I put your dress back there. Wait, this does not look like the maid of honor dress I got for you. I, can, I went shopping without your permission. I can take it back if you don't like it. No, no, I like it. It suits you. Can I come see? Yeah. This is gonna be so fun. Mom and dad are finally gonna get married. Mike's gonna be my dad. And I'm gonna get to do my magic. Oh, hi, hi, dad. What's up? You wanna see a cool magic trick? Yeah. Sure. Watch this. I'm gonna make Presto disappear. Oh. Ta da! Oh my god. Where's Presto? I, I seriously it's don't. Disappeared. Are those the seven layers? Yeah. Sure. Don't tell mom. I won't. I made a lot of batches, so. You're good at making seven layer bars. Can you tell me how to do that magic trick after the wedding? Hey, you can't tell anyone. It's my secret. Okay? okay. Yeah. All right. You ready for the wedding? Yeah, I'm ready. You're going to get married. I know. Excited. Are you excited for the wedding? Yeah, and we're gonna get to eat the seven layer bars together. I know. Is that is that gonna be your favorite part? Yes. And my seven hand soap. It's no. gonna be magical. Excuse me. You cannot see Catherine getting married before. Fletch, let's go. Ready? Now I've got the magic glass. And the magic came to pass. And I've learned so many things. Blah, 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 so many things. And, and I walked inside her shoes and saw the world her way. For just one day, just one day, just one day. Just one day. Just Try it again. In just one day. Mom, why isn't this working? This stupid magic doesn't know when to quit. Just breathe. You breathe. If I don't have to be stuck like this, I wouldn't wish to be an adult. I'm missing everything. Sneaking out, prom, going to concerts, forget about college parties. I'm responsible for little people. Forever. We're done. Stuck. Forever. Oh gosh. Hormones. 
No, I cannot do hormones. I cannot be a teenager again. Mom, I can't get married. Of course you can't. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Well, just go tell my man. Just go out there and dump him. Rip it off like a band-aid. Katie, let's just do this. We'll talk afterwards. Go ahead. Stop! I'm not ready to do this. Mike, this is so much harder than I thought it would be because you're great. You really are. Five years ago, our family lost someone. Our family felt broken. I felt broken. And I kept thinking that after it happened, you wanted to control me, but you didn't. You just wanted to protect me because you love me. And I love you. Say that again. Say what? I love you. Say that again. I love you. Ellie, I love you today and every day. I love you for who you are. I love your, you messy and grumpy and sassy. I will love your ripped jeans and your flannels because that is you. And I will always support you. Mom, I'm sorry if I made it seem like I don't love you. I know you can't be perfect and you don't expect me to be perfect either. You have to go. <gasps> Ellie? Mom? Ellie, is that really you? Mom, you have to go get married. I do, I do. Go ahead. I promise I won't stop you. As the couple breaks the glass, I invite you to say Mazel Tov to wish them happiness as a family. Mazel Tov! See? I told you you would never believe me. Now, you're probably wondering a few things about the wedding reception. It was great. We made the cover for Down the Island magazine. My catering business quadrupled overnight. They loved my seven layer bars. My best man pose was magical. I got my license to practice couples therapy. I went to Yale on a fast track PhD program, Eat My Dust. And I was valedictorian of my class at Harvard. Beat that. OMG. I went to Sweden, I started a band, it's called Stargrave. It's part punk, part western country swing. I went to a computer camp and I met the love of my life. His hacking skills were so major, got him on the FBI's blacklist at 11 years old. He named a code after me. I got hired as the editor for the best dress room. I got married. I wrote a wedding myself. I'm not in any pictures, but I finally wrote that novel I've been meaning to write. I got a new minivan, it's red. I look major in it. I hiked the Pacific Trail with me. He hiked it with me. <laughs> I finally got rid of that grand piano that doesn't play. I started doing cooking classes. You know what they say, if you want to meet someone, get out there. <laughs> whoa, whoa, you guys, I'm the narrator here. I got this one. Don't forget to tell them the last part. What? I invited a special guest. What? Congratulations on winning the hunt. Thanks. Could I tell you something? I mean, could I ask you something? Yes, yeah, sure. Do you think you and I could, um... There you are! Here, hold presto. Every great magician needs an okay assistant. Adam, the answer to your question is yes. One day is lost like another When you expect the same old same so true, I'm telling you, brother, just don't play that game. You have tomorrow to run to, so don't be stuck in yesterday. Why not embrace someone who loves you? Come what may. In a minute, life can unwind you. That's when find you lead the way. At last you're looking at me. At last I'm finally free. It took a little of you to show me who to be. Gonna live in the now, cause now I know just how. To live each day with love for all to see. The past is in the past, at last it's 
it's me. Too long to see our reflection. Too long, that's all that we ever know. But be strong, reverse your direction. Watch your power grow. There's life in all that's around you. You only have to let it in. You'll be so glad that I found you. Your new day will begin. Today will last me forever. Today's the best I've ever been. At last you're looking at me. Last and finally free. It took a little of you to show me who to be. Gotta live in the now, cause now I know just how to live you that I know you and you'll see. The past is in the past, at last it's me. Whoa, I know you. No. Please come to the stage and accept a bouquet of flowers as a token. 
token of our appreciation. They fed us, clothed us, shushed us, helped us with our homework, and cleaned up after us. In short, they were our parents for the week. Mr. Sheehan.